Здраво! Welcome to the module titled Air Pollution. Within this module, I will present to you the most important segments of the sustainable air quality management in urban and industrial environment. For centuries, urban population in the cold parts of Northern Europe have had problems with the air pollution originating from the smoke generated by the burning of low quality coal. The smoke contain high concentration of sulfur dioxide and particulate matter, which created a major health problem for the population. Pollutants components in the atmosphere have changed over time, but coal, oil and the gasoline are still an important source of sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides and the particulate matter in the atmosphere in large urban and industrial centers today. At the beginning of 19th century, with the, the industrial revolution and intensive urbanization, humans began to have a significant impact on the earth as a whole and thus on the composition of the atmosphere. Human influence is observed in increasing greenhouse gas emissions in changing the aerosol content of the atmosphere and in changing the overall environment of the Earth. Also, history witnesses numerous disasters, whether of natural or anthropogenic origin. Some disasters are still remembered today for their scale, especially those that have had major adverse effects on human health and the environment. Atmospheric pollution is often the cause of many accidents, especially in the, in the winter months when atmospheric stability conditions are most suitable for such situations. The world's most famous episodes of the atmospheric pollution in the last century were fluoride poisoning in the Meuse River Valley in Belgium, acid smoke poisoning in Donora, Pennsylvania and London. Despite significant success in reducing global levels of air pollutants, air pollution is still a major public health problem in cities worldwide. One such city is essentially the city of Zenica with its huge 100-year-old metallurgical factory, dense urban and business core located in the narrow basin of the river Bosnia. At the beginning of the 19th century, scientist John Dalton discovered that the atmosphere consists of chemically distinct gases. Dalton identified the basic components of the atmosphere, nitrogen, oxide and a small amount of argon. Air pollution is defined as the release of pollutants contained in the waste gas into the atmospheric air from controlled or uncontrolled mobile or stationary intermittent or continuous sources. The pollutants are released by the polluters, which can be technical or natural sources. Polluters release pollutions through point, linear and the surface sources. Pollutants from waste gases change the concentration of air components. Atmospheric pollutants exist in two basic physical states, gaseous and the solid, or particles. Three thousand chemical components harmful to the health are recorded into the air, but fewer than 200 air-regulated emissions. The air pollutants are divided according to the way they are generated. The primary pollutants are emitted into the atmosphere directly from the pollution source. The secondary pollutants are generated in the atmosphere by chemical reactions from both the primary pollutants and the natural atmosphere components, especially oxygen and the water vapor. Bosnia and Herzegovina regulated the air emissions by the air protection law and the accompanying by laws. Atmospheric air quality is considered as impaired 
if the parameters of one or more pollutants in concentration and the time adversely affect the health quality of life or cause damage to any component of the environment. It is directly linked to the emission of pollutants into the atmosphere, originating from natural sources or from direct and indirect human activities. These activities may be industrial plants, thermal power plants, transportation, households, etc. In addition to emission levels, the air quality can be locally and temporally affected by physical processes in the atmosphere called transmission. The concentration of pollutants in the ambient air varies greatly over time and geographic location. Such variation depend on different factors such as allocation and activity of emission sources, meteorological parameters acting on the dispersion and chemical reactions and the transformation that occur during the transport of pollutants. Therefore, it is very important to simultaneously monitor both air emission and air quality. It is also important to understand the complex transmission processes as many secondary pollutants such as sulfates, nitrates uh, and ozone appear and disappear in the atmosphere through deposition and chemical reactions. It happens simultaneously in time, space and overall troposphere dynamics. The temporal distribution of pollutants depends on the emission source type. For example, pollutants emitted by the motor vehicles have characteristic morning and afternoon peak concentration at the time when most vehicles are on the roads due to commuting and the lowest concentration occur in the night. Pollutant emissions from the thermal stations and the thermal power plants have small short-term variations, but larger seasonal variations. Knowing the air quality is important to preserve the health of the population. There are three categories of air quality and to make the air quality easier to do understandable by the general public the air quality index is defined and calculated. It describes the health consequences of short-term exposure to airborne pollution, as well as ways to protect citizens during episodes of increased pollution. In addition to the characteristics of the pollution resources, the concentration of pollutants depend significantly on atmospheric transport the wind direction and the speed and the state of atmospheric stability define pollutant dispersion over the area. When air quality is overloaded with multiple pollution sources, it is important to model the pollution dispersion. In that case, not even the smallest additional sources in the physical space can be built and commissioned. The practice in Bosnia and Herzegovina is opposite. The spatial planning documents rarely take air quality and pollutant dispersion into account. Accordingly, there is no quality tool, model, program, monitoring or air quality management system at the local or regional level. It is therefore important that attendees of, the, of this course are familiar with the issue of air pollution and understand the importance of establishing atmospheric models, tools and the methods to manage the air quality of urban and suburban areas, all in order to preserve the human health. Thank you for attending this module.